Hello there buddies, and welcome to Worcester Comic Con. As you can see here, I'm doing it with my front facing camera so I apologise <laughs> for the quality, but... That's the con. And I'm here with hey. this one. What do you go by these days? On All the sorts. internet? All sorts. Art Fox is one of them. Okay. Well, there you go. I'm with her. You'll so you remember you as Nick is not in on my channel, weren't you? Yes. Yeah. Also, what? butter milk. Yeah, butter milk. Butter milk plays. If you remember, I am. <laughs> if you remember our playthrough of I'm Alive, which we're supposed to be doing another series one day. Oh my god, that is awesome. But yeah, I'm basically just going to take some random footage of us going around this con and compile it together. I wanted to do it like and put it up on the day, but I think there's going to be too much stuff to look at and just to film in one video and then just upload. So yeah, I'll probably compile it and put it up later in the week. So this will probably be on Wednesday. This is Sunday now. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get confused. Yeah. Well, I've got to confuse people, otherwise it makes it too easy. Of course. So. <laughs> She also had a picture with the Stormtrooper. Hell yeah. Which surprised me because I didn't realise it had the voice changer. No. Made her jump a little bit. But it's all cool. Yeah, I had a look around. I don't really know what to say about it, to be honest, because there's, there's a few things that I found particularly cool, obviously, because I'm a classic nerd. But, um, to say the least. <laughs> there's certain things that I kind of found meh. There's things that didn't make sense. But there's uh, some fancy writers that are just <laughs> sat in the middle looking waiting to get autographs of people the people you've never heard of and that no one got anybody in. It just kinda of makes you feel sorry for them, but I don't, we need oh. no, I thought we need scissors, that's okay. Have it. What did you say? I thought we needed scissors. Oh, but it's okay. Yeah. No, I said labbits. We bought ourselves some labbits, I'm really hoping I've got the dead ball one. But yeah, they were reduced to Yeah. yeah, he's done a massive <laughs> shit. Yeah, so she's got venom. I'm gonna try and do this whilst whilst I'm recording. But Would you like me to hold the camera? No, that's fine. I'm gonna the struggle, the struggle, mate. Get this. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to get my fingers in there. That's what she said. Ah, I've got Wolverine. <laughs> if I can get him out. There we go. No, I don't. There's probably another one in there. Yeah, but there's a sticker. I got Wolverine. Or a piece of card. Yeah. Here. I found that piece of card. Wolverine, if you can see that. Yeah, I found I found the claws first, which is how I knew who it was. That's awesome. They're, they're these guys are behind me, by the way. I'm doing this quite cheekily, but that's Chris Barry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris Barry, Hattie Hayridge, and Robin Llewellyn are behind me from Red Bull. I absolutely fucking love them. Uh, He's but this one, out. yeah, this, she has no idea who Red, what Red Wolf. I've lost thought. <laughs> what, you've lost thought. Yeah. Really, really. I've just been told off for not vlogging more. <laughs> but to recap the event a little bit, I'm still using this front facing camera, so it still looks crap and I um, I still apologize. But yeah, to kind of recap the event, it was actually really good uh, for this area's first, well, I say this area, it's Worcester's 
this is Comic Con. Um, it was better than expected because uh, we, knowing this area, I don't know if it's the same for you, but knowing this area, we thought it was going to be kind of. Well, I thought it was going to be kind of half-assed. Um, yeah, uh -huh. But it's actually really quite cool. But uh, there were more people there than I thought there was going to be. I thought it was going to be either. Well, this is with me going back and forth here. Uh. I kind of originally had two ideas: either everyone was going to clamber together to go, "Oh, there's finally this thing for this this stuff that we love," and then everyone would be there, or it was going to be empty. But I mainly thought it was going to be empty. <gasps> and Sorry, it wasn't. so thirsty. <laughs> it wasn't empty. It was actually uh, it was quite a good turnout. The downside to it was the stalls weren't as good as I thought they were going to be. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot to look at. Really. Yeah, once you kind of went up and down the lanes twice, you'd seen everything. It didn't help there was like one or two stalls where it was literally, you could tell it was just someone that had sat at home and done some basic paintings on canvases. There were some really good artists that had There's some fantastic these. stuff and then some stuff that just really shouldn't have been there. Yeah. Without go, sounding horrible, I mean, yeah. they, they, <laughs> it sounds mean because people would have worked on that stuff, but it's not as good as you you, you think it you'd is. You'd expect, yeah. <laughs> Sorry um, to say, but it, you know, it was good at the same time. There were some cool guests. Oh yeah, so because we ended up talking to Lee Lee Sullivan and Andrew Wildman, uh, who I actually I actually don't know them uh, very well myself. Uh, you guys will know that I really like my comic books. This one kind of does. Um, more graphic novels than comic yeah. books. Lee Sullivan, the name rings a bell, but I can't really place him for something that I've read myself. But Andrew Wildman, I'd never heard of. But apparently he used to work on things like uh, the Transformers comics, uh, which he doesn't do anymore. But we got I had a huge chat with him, mainly about storyboarding. Yes. As, uh, for this one, maybe. Possibly, you're hidden by the buttons on the side of my camera. That's right? fine, they won't be there in the video. No, I know, I knew that. <laughs> I'm just pointing it out to us. But, yeah, is there anything else you wanted to... Well, well we, I can't remember if I've already vlogged this, I don't think I have. But we met Darth Vader and Boba Fett, and they yes. signed some stuff for me. David Prowse and... Me uh, too. We. They signed some stuff for we? Hmm? <laughs> you said no. they signed some stuff for no, me. I said, no, I said we uh, met them. Yeah, and then you went, and they signed some stuff for me? Me too. This is my vlog, I'm allowed to say what they've done to me. And I told you. Done to me? Oh my god, what Darth <laughs> done to me? False joke, Tim. No. The last video we did together, I told you I was sticking over the channel because I said bye bye at the end of, um... Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever it was called. I'm alive. And you are like... Fine, did you want the camera? I offered earlier, but no. No. Don't listen to her. Um, yeah. Just a big shot. Yeah. Uh, David Prowse and Jeremy Bullock signed some pictures for us yes. and they were very nice um, I was if and off and about getting some stuff signed by um, Robert Llewellyn, Chris Barry and Hattie H Haydridge. Haydridge, Haydridge the female Holly from Red Dwarf the Red Dwarf gang that were there um, but I ended up not because I'm stupid <laughs> hopefully they'll be there next year but I said hello to Chris Barry you he nodded that? at him and I thought he knew him and I just looked at him like she doesn't know she's lame. She's not into Red Dwarf. You fail as a geek. There were a lot of really good cosplays. Like the, um, there was the gender bend Captain America. She was awesome. So, uh, Captain America. <laughs> well, no, I was just trying to think, like, wh whether you'd change up his actual, like, when he's not Captain America, his name. So, Steve something. Stevie? Um, then there was really good Batman, really good Scarecrow, really good... Scarecrow Man. Scarecrow Man, as I kept saying it to you. Judge Dredd. There was yes. a load of dreads there. They, they were amazing. They took, We watched them take a photo with some guy, they made him sit yeah, on God. his knees, and the one had his hat and the other had his head, didn't it? It was just <laughs> funny. Uh, Dancing Cyberman, probably saw it. Yeah, actually that would be a clip of that. But yeah, it was, um, it was good, but lacking at the same time it had some really, really good things and some not so good things yeah but as you said it's the first one things to improve on exactly so if they do it next year we'll probably do it next year yeah I'm up for going again <laughs> yeah. they need to do more comic conventions around here I think Birmingham and London are the closest Manchester to as well 
Oh yeah, Manchester, yeah, I completely forgot. Yeah, we'll have to go to more. I have to experience more, because for all we know, this might actually be what they're all like, and we just have high standards. <laughs> I think it's because when you see, like, like say, San Diego, in like the movies or on the TV or whatever, it just looks amazing. Like, yeah. knock out completely. Like, we said that we thought there'd be more like props or costumes and those sort of yeah. things. And there wasn't here today, so... I was really hoping for some uh, replica props. But... Maybe next time. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Anything else you wanted to add before signing off? No, no. I think we're good. Sure? Yeah. You don't want to ambush my channel some more? No. I'm tired now. You can have your channel back. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching... Oh, there's my, my hand. In the, there we go. Um, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed watching some of this little clips of what we experienced today at the Com Comic Con. Give it a thumbs up. I said today, again, it's Sunday today, but you'll be seeing this on the Wednesday. Either way, sorted. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much, and I shall see you in the next one.